So good morning, everyone, or good day, good evening, and I see some people already log logged on. There's Jill from Canada. Hi, and uh, and other people from Canada, from Finland. Wow, Mirja. And uh, Susan from local, hi. Barbara Gates, not so far away, and Abraham close by, and Chris from Ventura, and Jane from also from Berkeley, Chantal, Salt Lake City, Canada, David, Elaine, Glendale. I'm very happy to have you all here, and um, and there's more and more. So if someone could let me know if you hear the sound, that would be great. And uh, and uh, we'll start at 7 a.m. here. Good morning. <clears throat> and uh, thank you for the opportunity to meditate together, for all of us to be together for this period of time. And... Um, one of part of the art of meditation is how we prepare ourselves for meditation. And there are two things to consider which are maybe could be seen as contradictory, but I hope we can hold them together. And that is uh, a lot of mindfulness meditation is about recognizing what's happening. And so to sit down, as we sit down, just before sitting down, uh, first sitting down to recognize how we are, what's happening to, to us, and to be cognizant of how we are physically, mentally, emotionally, um, circumstantially where we are, and to recognize that and, and to see it clearly. And the second is uh, to reflect a little bit about what inspires you, what brings you a sense of joy or happiness or gladness um, in the opportunity to sit down to meditate. To um, um, Certainly it brings me gladness to know that we're together for these minutes and all these names and all of you that I see uh, on the chat and other people and just knowing that there's so many people coming to sit and we're sharing this uh, brings me some delight and joy. Uh, it brings me some joy to know that uh, we're going to engage in a tradition that people have been doing and a practice people have been doing for uh, millennia, really, and, um, and have found deeply moving and important. And because people have meditated before us, uh, we have the meditation, we have this practice to do. And it brings me some joy to be able to uh, engage in a practice where we settle on ourselves, where we show up, we wake up to what's happening, that um, there is an alternative to being stuck. There is an alternative to uh, being swept away by stress, distress, fear, challenges. It is a place where you can come and sit down. So you might have your own ways of imagining or uh, reflecting for both these things, just an honest recognition of how you are and uh, the goodness of sitting down here or the faith, the inspiration you have that might uh, not override how you are, but put it in a context so when you sit down, it's a little bit easier to just sit and be here. So to take an upright or a appropriate posture for yourself and maybe closing your eyes. And you might, uh, with your eyes closed, imagine yourself actually sitting or laying or wherever you are right now. Imagine yourself meditating. Maybe in your mind's eye you have an image of yourself and the posture you're in. Maybe a little sense of how you're in a particular space and room. And that here you are, and, and perhaps in sitting here quietly with an image of yourself sitting here, perhaps reflecting about the preciousness of this opportunity to meditate, 
not always that people have this chance. And that for these few minutes, perhaps, maybe the goodness or the, the rightness of just feeling safe enough, comfortable enough, hopefully, to spend a few minutes with the breathing, with being present, and to feel the goodness of this or the fortune of this. or Let it be like a little foundation of gladness as we sit here. And then within this body of yours, in, there's your breathing. And you might even, if you have an ability to visualize or to think a little bit, kind of just a little bit for a moment, uh, imagine yourself actually doing what you're doing. Imagine yourself sitting here being a breathing person. Maybe your mind's eye, an image, maybe from outside of looking at yourself, standing nearby and, and just noticing the movements of the chest, the belly, just noticing here's a breathing person. And that here, this is where the attention will be centered. And then perhaps letting go of this imagery and just kind of settle into doing what you imagined. Settle, settling into f feeling, sensing the body breathing. And this movements of the body breathing, the alternation of in and out of the breath. In the context of all, everything, an honest assessment of how you are and the challenges you might have, and the opportunity to a little bit put aside the ideas, past and future, the context of what's happening to you outside of the meditation, and the opportunity to sit in the middle of it all and focus on your breathing. You might take a few long, gentle breaths, relaxing as you exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. And letting your breathing return to normal. And taking a few moments to feel, experience your whole body in whatever way that's available to you. Perhaps if the body's a little bit difficult to connect to, perhaps feeling the contact of your clothes against your body. or the contact of your chair or floor or cushion or bed. The contact of your hands against your body And maybe feeling the three-dimensionality, the substantiality of your physical body. Perhaps the weight of your body. Relaxing into that weight, sense of weight, to be a little bit more grounded or centered, rooted here.
and then within the body as part of the body. Being aware of the body breathing as if it's the most valuable thing you could do now. As if it's the home or the place of well-being, of goodness. Where the simplicity of just breathing is all you need to do. Your attention on your breathing and everything else just flows by. Everything else is just allowed to be in the periphery And for now, feeling the breathing and how the inhalation is experienced differently than the exhalation. How the beginning of the exhalation is different than the end. Gently, softly, receptively, with your breathing.
And as you're sitting with your breathing, if you can make a subtle adjustment to your breathing so that it's a little bit more pleasant. Maybe it's allowing yourself to breathe a little slower or deeper or shifting by relaxing having your breathing in one part of the chest to another or into the belly where you feel the movement. Or you simply notice the pleasant part of breathing. Maybe some part of the physical sensations of breathing have some degree of pleasantness as part of it. And if you do feel some pleasant experience of breathing, enjoy it. And see if you can enjoy it in such a way that your mind becomes quieter, that your thinking slows down, or becomes thinner. And if you don't find the breathing particularly pleasant, perhaps as you exhale, the end of the exhale can be a time to gently let the thinking mind become quieter, softer. And in that quiet, you're ready to experience the inhale
And then as we come to the end of the sitting, take a few moments to feel or recognize what is it that that's good? What is positive that's present for you now? Are you a little bit calmer than you were before? More settled? More connected to yourself or to reality? Is there a deeper sense of contentment? Or ease or even freedom? Or perhaps maybe not that you've recognized it yet. Maybe a little bit greater capacity for love, for care, compassion. In whatever way this meditation has been beneficial for you, no matter how subtle and small, take a few moments now to consider how that can be a basis for doing something beneficial for the world today. If you consider the day that you'll be living, based on how you're feeling now, what would make sense to do? What would you like to do that would make the world a little bit a better place for someone else? It might be just appreciating someone that you know. If you have the opportunity, maybe doing someone's dishes. Or maybe cleaning up the street, a little bit in front of your house, if there's a little bit of trash. Or maybe it's making a donation to an organization that's helping people who are hungry now. What is the goodness that you can bring into the world that might flow from your meditation today? And then, may it be so. (laughs) 